Oh, that doesn't look so good. That does not look good. Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 5 of Inspectors React. I'm Jeff Hawk, Technical Director for Sheffield Metals, and I have been in the metal roofing industry for 15 years. I'm Dave Stubbs, the Assistant Technical Director for Sheffield Metals, and I've been in the business for 35 years. Ready to start looking at some photos? Let's roll, dog. Get it up. Oh. Might be an issue. First day with the snips. <laughs> Hedge trimmer, possibly. Right? They cut the over, they got the patient back to get that panel up there. Yeah, I don't know what the heck's, yeah. There's, I mean, there's a lot going on there. Um, some things can be fixed, uh, or at least, you know, covered up or remedied, like the fascia, you can cover that up. But end, of, end of the valley's all tore up. The cuts, goodness. Yeah, yeah. try again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do it nice because we do it twice. All right. All right, next. Is that the same job? <laughs> Day two. Right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, this one doesn't look that bad. No, but is, we all know. Devil's in the details. What is going on at the eaves? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like somebody got a little uh, crazy with the sealant when they try to do the up and over the seam yeah. portion of it so we don't have siphoning in the snap locks. Yeah, sometimes it's less is more. Yeah, it's definitely cleaner. I mean, they're going to need some uh, finisher counter flashing on the sidewall. But, I mean, they're using a transition flashing. Looks like they got, they got that screwed off correctly. Gonna go back and strip it in. You know, again, it's half completed work. All right. Oh no. What's wrong with that? Let's start with um, the lightning protection being copper. No. Never a good idea. Yeah. So dissimilar metals, they're gonna cause an issue. It's not if it's gonna cause an issue. Or I mean, it's it's you're going to have an issue. Right. There's not gonna be much way around that. Hey. Yeah. Is that a zip tie? As I suspected. So not only are they going to have a problem with the copper on the paint surface, the painted surface, which is you know, going to corrode and things of that nature, then they just went ahead and screwed right through the seam. That's gonna, that whole panel has to get replaced and the one next to it. Correct. Somebody needs to figure out what they're going to do for the lightning protection. Copper can't be a part of that component. Copper wire has to go. Same thing if it's a copper rod. You know, it should all be aluminum. Right. All right. Next. Love it when they measure. Love it when they measure. You know, I can't tell people not to use impacts. I just try to encourage using the proper tools that faster companies, you know, suggest. And it's not, it is just not an impact, but. Cleats stripped in. Cleats stripped in. Um, right, looks like the right fasteners. Looks like it's the right clips. So overall, not too alarming. I'd like to see a little bit cleaner surface that the roof is going down. Hopefully there's not mud underneath there to yeah. cause some. That everywhere around it could be a mud pit. We just don't know. Right. My turn? Go ahead. <laughs> that looks pretty clean. It does look clean. I mean, that, that's not an easy transition. That, like, knee wall, parapet wall. There's a lot going on at the base of that. Looks super tight. Maybe probe some things and make sure they get compression on that. What hopes, looks to be or hopes to be <laughs> butyl underneath there on the offset cleat where that panel hooks in and where that low profile sidewall goes. But, I mean, that's... That's clean detailing. You got those long, nice straight runs and you throw up you throw in a very difficult tie in. Right. You know? Yep. Just just to make it hard. Oh. Hey. There we go. Looks pretty clean. I mean panel layout might have been able to be a little bit different, not to have a seam right on the top of that parapet, but you get good clean out on both sides, that valley coming in there. I'd like to see how that W valley ties into that what looks to be a, a knee wall on the on the far side there of the picture, but yeah, looks good. Yeah, agreed. All right. Oh, that doesn't look so good. That does not look good. Hopefully we're looking at it, like looking up the roof line and the the um, Z or Z closure is is lapped properly. I see that a lot where, you know, in the roofing industry, there's really only two components that actually you should start from the top and work down and, and Z closure is one, offset cleat and valley's the other. So often I see that they're lapped backwards, but that, the gapping just needs to be needs to be tight. It's not easy to correct at this point. That's the worst part. You see something like that, if you weren't already looking hard, you're gonna start looking harder. And you don't need to be a roofing professional to look at that and say, hey, that's probably not right. right. Yeah. So yep. water's it, gonna get in there. Yeah, it behooves it behooves, you know, the contractors to try to, you know, make everything as tight as possible. Sure. All right, next. 
If that hole needs to be that big, that's a big hole. Maybe it's a skylight tube, the, the solar tube. But the but the pipe's not going to go through the rafter. <laughs> the rafter's in the way. <laughs> the rafter is in the way. Do you really need that rafter? Mm. Overrated. <laughs> Structure is overrated. Here, here's here's the thing. It looks to me like somebody thinks that they're going to just go ahead and put a deck tight over that. Right. Don't worry about the wiring underneath it. Don't either. worry about the wires. Don't worry about the seams. Don't worry about any of that. And what kind of shape is that roof in to begin with? Well, it was probably pretty good. Yeah. It's looking pretty rough at the moment, right. even even without the hole. Right. Let's Ooh. see. So you've got a panel system going down over Versa Shield, I believe. That's what it looks like. Lines, lines are snapped. Chalk some lines. Aluminum system. That looks like the aluminum clip or aluminum. Aluminum, <laughs> yes. But they've prepared. They've prepared proper sequencing, which is always something I look at when I when I get to the job site. They got their panels. They've got their um, clips put together. If that's part of the process, but it looks like they're ready. Proper preparation, right? I mean, that's that's key. So they got the clips. They got tie-off points. They're ready to go. They're chalked. They can go. And they are close together. Those clips. Absolutely. Wherever wherever they're at, they uh, they must get some wind because that's a tighter than usual clip spacing for in the field of those panels. Yep. So they've done their homework and know what they need to do. Same thing. Same thing. Hopefully that was at the uh, you know the end of the roof and looks like they're laying the Versa Shield down as they go. Yep. It's yep. fine. Really, yeah, they got the shark skin underneath it, so the Versa Shield's just acting as a fire barrier. Yep. Excellent. Looks good. Please. That's not a standing seam panel. Yeah, no, it's not a standing scene panel. There's uh, brings up a lot of questions, right? I mean, like, like you take a look at the fasteners, right? It's all the of activity that's going on there. It's like, well, where is this? What's going on? Why did they use what seems to be dissimilar metals? What's on top of it? It's not rich. No, I mean you can see underneath it, panels. Looks like some L angle that a farmer would use for for snow guard. Right, but at the ridge. <laughs> hey, I don't make the rules. <laughs> I've seen an open framing job. Screwing directly into the panel. Yep. So directly into the panel, floating ridge of some sort. Got enough fasteners. Yeah. But you're going directly into that 24 gauge, which isn't a ton of pull-out value. No. Usually there would be some type of backup plate um, that would go on the ends of the panels, or you would have another framing member there that you would attach it to. Sure. Well, that's uh, some sort of a floating system, right? Right. Yeah. Next. Yeah. There's the rest of it. Same system, fasteners and purlins. I don't envy having to drill through those purlins. No. Well, those purlins are looking pretty tight as well. Yep. Those are the photos we have for you today on Inspectors React. Hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you on the next one.